Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is your Tennis Now News Update. Buckle your seatbelts, a major match-fixing bombshell is dropped on the start of the Grand Slam season. An investigative report by BuzzFeed News and the BBC alleges that 16 players, all of whom have ranked in the top 50, have been linked to match fixing. And it further charges that tennis's governing body is aware of ongoing corruption and refuses to address it. The report, called the Tennis Racket, asserts that widespread match fixing by players at the upper level of the game does exist and it names 70 players as suspected fixers. Former world number three Nikolai Davidenko is one of those names. He retired from a match back in 2007, one of the matches believed to be fixed. Investigators say they found 82 text messages between Davidenko's winning opponent and a suspected Sicilian match fixer. An unnamed top 50 player at the Australian Open is suspected of repeatedly fixing his first set in matches. The report goes on to say that players are being targeted in hotel rooms at major tournaments and offered $50,000 or more per fix by corrupt gamblers. World number one Novak Djokovic has confirmed that fixers have approached his team a number of times years ago in St. Petersburg. Um, and, and of course we, we, we threw it away right away. I mean, it didn't even get to me. Somebody may call it an opportunity, I call it a... For me, that's, that's an act of unsportsmanship, a, a crime in sport, honestly. ATP Chief Executive Chris Kermode met the media in Melbourne and said the report mainly refers to events from about 10 years ago, but says they will investigate any new information. We are aware that it is there. I think it is on an incredibly small level, um, and it's our business to going forward. In the meantime, some players say they have received major cash offers to fix. Daniel Collerer, the first player ever hit with a lifetime ban for betting corruption, said he was offered $50,000 to fix a match. In Chennai, they offered me $50,000 to lose against Davidenko first round. And in Paris, they offered me double money to lose against Masu in straight sets. Roger Federer called the allegations super serious. He wants more information. He says he would love to hear names. Was it the player? Was it the support team? Who was it? Roger says the higher it goes, the more surprised he would be, no doubt about that. In a further blurring of the lines between tennis and gambling, betting companies are invested in the sport as sponsors. The Australian Open became the first Grand Slam in history to sign a betting partner sponsorship deal with a bookmaker, William Hill. That happened last fall. So what do you think about all this? Are major matches being fixed or are the cases isolated? Let us know what you think in the comment section. All right, moving on. A young guns arm race launched day one of the Australian Open. That's right, Grigor Dimitrov and Nick Kyrgios both went sleeveless for the first time as temperatures soared above 90 degrees. The guys say they were just trying to beat the heat, but they both got knocked around a bit on social media. Critics called out Grigor with jabs ranging from Baby Rafa to A.C. Slater from the show Saved by the Bell. Whatever. As for me, I like a classier look. Was in fact very happy when Rafa dropped those capris and cut his hair. I'm just saying. All right, among the other notable new looks on opening day, six-time champ Serena Williams made a statement in yellow. Maria Sharapova was very pretty in peach. And Roger Federer dropped the collar this time around and brought out some bright green stripes. Joe Wilfred Songa also sporting green at the Australian Open. Okay, how can Rafa return to his Grand Slam glory days and how can you hit a two-handed backhand like Nole? We've got the answers for you in the new Tennis Now Australian Open preview issue. Check it out. We're going to be looking at the draws. We'll give our picks for the top five breakout stars. And we share some of our best and worst episodes of Tennis Now TV. Take a look at it. Okay, we're going to leave you now with one of the best points of day one down under. Pablo Carina Busta with a tweener. And then Nick Curios thumps an answer. That's the news for now. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.